right. Long time no see, Tiffany. I believe uh, ATM re interviewed you last time. How's it been going? Um, it's been, uh, um, I would say, and basically, I'm an, an adjustment. That's what I feel like an adjustment. What are you adjusting to? Um, how sometimes people say like moderation or balance or that anything of something too much is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Well, I um I feel like I now I started breaking down last time and I got um I guess where I got broken simplified and um mm. basically um my would I uh, had nothing less I had nothing left to I mean I guess maybe I put a hurt in on me sometimes but no not last time you couldn't hear it in my voice so when I was talking to you guys this is what I did in my recovery. Like that I um I was broken already down. Like uh, a horse or something with spear broken or something on a fair here or anything like that, yeah, so right. I um I was just like even if I still got high it's and it's just like the feeling of the addiction or the obsession to use or the enjoyment of it being recreational and it being a high she gone. It's definitely not recreational. Maybe only in yeah. Kensington. <laughs> I started thinking it's too, like, how much fun am I really doing around telling people what I have if I do the same thing all day 24-7. It's not because of here, though, because it's more like in other places. I'm just, like, relaxed. I feel like retired. But, um, no, in my addiction, I'm learning to... All right, so this is what I, um, one of my things I'm going to be doing. I was thinking... Or smoking cigarettes. Nobody says that when you start smoking cigarettes that if somebody, if you, my mom talked to you, she'll say she got emphysema or cardiac arrest from smoking cigarettes and it gave her a disability because you now she actually has um, conditions that are associated with lung cancer or nicotine or tar. Well, for me, I feel like it gave me a disability because I didn't realize, but people who smoke hard or do ice, nobody ever said, like, they never stop to think of this that it will interfere with a job if you smoke a lot and you want to take a bliss like if you have a pipe or you have glass or okay. you want to smoke a cigarette because you can't just go and break whenever you want right you know and you can't be smoking the building up in the bathroom so that is always something i hated because you can smell it you know how you can smell other drugs on you? Yeah. So now I'm, I'm right here, I'm working in a process of all these little things thinking and playing ahead. Because um, okay. they're like the things I'm going, I'm preparing for the next step for me. But it, it does seem like these are things you probably do while you're doing the um, next steps. But not for me, I really need it like the preparation and stuff. Like, so I, I um, stick to what I'm doing and like. It's like, to me, it's like getting to know, like even people say it's all you know or something, and something's all you know. It's like that I'm practicing for it. Even though it ain't doing anything, it's really doing something. It has been doing something. Like I was just saying, that's what people down there, I feel like it's therapeutic. I don't know. What's therapeutic? Um actually working out the kinks like working out the kinks like when you're having sex with somebody and when you're new having sex with somebody and so you guys don't really um say that example again right, if you guys all right if you're having sex with somebody and you two are having sex or whatever and you um start falling all over because you guys like first time having sex or something so you're getting used to each other's bodies, like, so you're getting used to his arms or her arms or whatever. Alright, so these things that I feel like you work out, um, it's like when you fall and you hit your head kind of each other. Like, if I was climbing around doing it and, like, mm -hmm. you were just, like, in and like, you had a little bit and then we're just like, alright, it's okay, you know, we just 
start doing something else. I feel like it's kind of like that before and y'all go to work because, like, um, because I started, it was because I get mad some days and I was like, yeah, what am I going to do when I got to go to work, yeah? When's the last time you used, Tiffany? Um, today. But this is a different situation. I'm thinking of Blake Point for a job. I'm used, to, I'm used to working as an art. I worked at Show and Tell for six years. That, that strip club? Yeah, so I'm used to working at, like, a strip club. And well, I could do what I felt like when I felt like when I wanted to do something at the time, I could. But I, um, stopped going to work, but I have a boyfriend. The money good at the time? Depends on what the money was, but I feel like it was the exact same money no matter what. So we must have not been the distortionist, me and my family, or me and people I know. I had any more money. Were, were you on drugs when you worked at the club? Yeah. W what type of drugs? The same ones or? Um, yes, I was using my drugs. And uh, what type of drug did you use today? Um, sorry, I'm guessing I used opiate, I used ice, I used, um, hmm. that's my cigarettes. I... That's it. I How much did you spend? Mm -hmm. You talking about working and money? Yeah. What happened? Uh, I said, uh... How much I'm money did you spend on drugs today? Okay, um, alright. Oh no, I was at the hotel last night. That's right, I forgot. Okay. Was that a hotel last night? I was at the hotel last night, so I didn't get drugs um, today yet. Yeah, I didn't get any drugs today. Yeah, I had drugs when I was at the hotel. And I had, um. I lost one, but I had three left my robe you say you had lost some drugs? Nah, like I only like one drug. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting really tired. I'm sorry. You're tired? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm How often do you? I'm starting to really get tired. I'm starting to get like a little kid. Like I gotta get put that time. Is it the drugs making you tired, or are you just I naturally get, tired? I, I didn't sleep, um, finish all sleeping last night. I went to bed at a time. My body would have thought I was having a full night's sleep. You, you said you was at a hotel. Yeah, but I didn't. We stayed up the whole night. You stayed up the whole night? Mm -hmm, the ice, the ice be having you up the whole night, huh? Yeah, I can take my other vacation to sleep. He just got mad at me last night. So you managed to get hotel rooms and stuff? No, I didn't remember. He did. He did? Was it a date or something? No. The boyfriend you got? No, that's not, yeah. Uh-uh, no, that's not, it's really deep. I'm just I gotta catch you when you you more sober yeah, one I'm day. So, no, I'm just tired. It's not you know, sober, not sober or anything. I don't. He's a guy that I just wanted to do a date or whatever. And we were listening to music, and he's like, he drove up and he's just like, well, you can get a shower, and I wasn't gonna wash my tent there, so I could wash my tent too. So, but um, again, doing all that, and it was a little rainy last night, but it was. He offered you a shower? Did he get hot, hit? No, he? I got, I did a, I went and stayed tonight at the shower at the hotel with him. Okay. I don't know what you're asking. Did he, did he get high with you? Did he get high? Did he no. use with you? No, he did not. No? He, you ever feel like he's just trying to use you? No, he's a new, he's a new. No? Is it fair exchange or something? Oh. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what, what happened to the dosage? I'm sorry, what? I'm getting a little lost. Um, do drugs be having you paranoid sometimes, or? No, not at all. They having you see no. things? No. Not okay. At all.
like, like, um, season now, I'm possibly going in strokes or, um, dying, like, because that's a, uh, on, like, that was a complication from, from, like, drinking and whatever it was, abusing something, so, I feel like I'm, like, not, I hate being like, that's why when I'm high a little bit sometimes, I feel like I'm just, that's my worst right now, is my arrogance is when I just want, like, when I'm, I'm normally just okay as long as I'm, like, I'm well. I basically just don't want to look like I'm not walking around or asking like all the other humans. Tiffany. Yeah. When me and ATM Ray first met you, when we first ran into you, you had just recovered from being overdosed. Yeah. No, I just, um, I, that, are you sure? I thought I just got, um. That was, I think that was the second time you had, oh, you tell uh, me. I thought I went to rehab, I just got out of rehab. You had just got out of rehab? Yeah. I think I want to get done to you for the, um, I just got to done to you. Yeah, I, I possibly could have been wrong. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, you got to turn this around. Yeah. You got to flip the script on them. Can't, we can't be out here like this. You just said, uh, everything about, I don't know. I don't know, Tiff. You gotta, you gotta break this. It is, it's just, it's just hard seeing me here of all places, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, tired of seeing like you. It's like you're out of seeing me. Like, we used to say that when we would get in trouble sometimes in jail. It'd be like, I like, don't get me wrong. It'd be like, I want to <laughs> see you again, but not in here. Right, right, like, right. Like, but I don't want to see you this way. Like, next time I, I see you, I want to see you. Doing bigger and better somewhere things. Somewhere else. Somewhere, like, where you're Sober. happier. Like, you're not not happy but they don't you want to see them like whatever smiling and doing Definitely. something else that they like with their life they're enjoying do you want to get clean um i feel like i'm i'm like a queen on drugs because of my l less amount of using them for what i'm using them for um i shouldn't be using i'm basically treating myself um with what I probably should be prescribed something so I'm like using I'm self medicating but I'm not self medicating to be I'm not doing it to be high um I'm not changing my mental health or anything I like I'm not getting our mental health to be like getting worse like mentally like sad or I, I'm causing me to have too much happiness made me get sad or or having um depression and then like whatever but um and it's turning into something else you know anger problem or something like or suicide i'm not having stuff like that going on thank god and like it's, that's what i'm saying like um what i was saying and but it also another thing is like sometimes i've seen people who are um had physical complications doing to like skin seizures from drinking and passing out and hitting their head i can live, tell you're a sweet live a little yeah i can tell you're a sweet nice kind-hearted like person that, i do feel like that person. but it's hard to even put a smile on your face. I can uh, tell just by the I'm way you speak. Sure. I'm really, I've been really, this is actually a lot happier. I've been, I just had a fight for this much happiness. Just off of just talking. Just having a No, I'm also just off, in, off of just talking because somebody really wanted to take my happiness. Because, um, I, uh, was not ready to deal with death in my family. And all right, Tiffany. I know it's kind of it's kind of rough on you. You okay? Yeah. Tiffany, you've been wonderful for me. We, we got a lot of information out today. Uh, last question. Any advice for the youth? What would you tell the babies out here ripping and running the streets following in the same footsteps? Um, like, I'm feeling like, like this song, Big Girls Don't Cry by, by Fergie. You can mix it, um, Lincoln Park. Mm -hmm. Like, um, and it's like crawling. 
Colin and my skin, these wounds, they will not heal. Mm. If you eat it, it's like... Or maybe it's imagination. But then again, they say love is a chemical reaction of the brain. So maybe it could be Stephanie. an illusion, imagination, or insanity. Mm. Or inert. Well, Tiff, we're going to figure out the lyrics on the next interview. You've been wonderful for me. Next interview, I hope you, uh, Hope you are on the path to sobriety. All right. We're praying for you today, tonight, to do stay safe out here. All right. Thank you. All time you to be, we praying for you. You want to start a business with YouTube? You want to get started creating a podcast? Purchase our new ebook and get all the information you need for only $10. My name is ATM Ray, and I will offer informative steps, advice, and ideas to seek potential success in YouTube and podcasting. Remember, get all the information you need for only $10. Link is below or above.